Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am sorry if you recognize that this makeup and top were in my last video, but it is what it is. I need to do a little bit of filming here um, for the week because I've been backed up. I haven't had the chance to film recently and I just want to get as much filmed as I can on this day while it's sunny, while I have my makeup on, etc. So this is the first quarter update on my makeup inventory. Um, I will have the intro linked down below. Basically what I did is January the 1st I inventoried all of my makeup. I separated it by category and I have the numbers. So this video is all about numbers. It's not showing you like my makeup collection. Um, it's not like that. It's just me going over my numbers, um, if they've gone up, if they've gone down, how I feel about it, blah blah blah. So I have everything in my little spreadsheet here um, which is on Google Sheets. I have everything categorized. If I'm looking down, that's why, um, because I'm looking at the screen here, but um, let's just get into it. Um, my first category was face primers. So in January, I had 16. Um, in April, as of yesterday, I have 19. Um, I will say that a lot of these, actually 13 of the 19, are less than half an ounce of product. So um, I have been working on a couple of full-size primers and project pans. So once I finish those off or once I rotate them out, I will be able to focus more on the smaller ones. And I think I can knock a few out um, before my next update in, what, July? So I'm not too concerned about it. Um, but I do need to start working on some of the smaller ones. The next category is foundations or foundation mixers. So I have one foundation mixer, it's the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white. I still have it. My total number in January was nine. I swapped away one of them, which was the Dr. Dart BB Cream. I think it was the black label one. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, so I swapped that, but I got the Lancome Stick Foundation, so I'm still at nine. For concealers or correctors, in January I had six. I had four concealers and two correctors, these little mini ones from Urban Decay. Um, I have used up the Urban Decay ones, but I acquired a few concealers. I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and I got the Lancome Camouflage Concealer, so my number is still at six. I am working on it. We shall see how it goes. Um, Actually, no, I finished up another one. I finished up the NYX um, HD concealer in porcelain, but I got a third concealer, the NYX HD concealer in lavender for mixing. So that's why I still have six. Um, next, my category was under eye setting powders, and in January I had two. It was a mini Tarte one and the e.l.f. HD under eye. Um, I swapped away the Tarte and I still have the e.l.f. so I went from two to one. For face powders, I had six. In January, I now have seven because of the Dermablend setting powder that I got in a play by Sephora. So, whatever. Next is eye primers. I had seven in January. I now have five thanks to swapping two of them away. Um, so that seems a little bit more deal withable. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of uh, eye primers. It takes forever to get through eye primer. Um, for eye bases, cream shadows, um, I had 13 in January. I decluttered some of them because they were old or they were dried up. However, I acquired a few in the form of um, a Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick and I got a few Love of Color Cream Shadow Sticks um, from swapping, so I now have 14. So I am up one. For bronzers, at the beginning of the year I had two. I still have two. It's the same two. Um, the Body Shop Honey Bronzer and Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. For blushes, at the beginning of the year I had 12. I now have 15. I got the Tarte um, blush, uh, the birthday one. I also got... I don't remember, honestly. Oh, I got uh, a full-size one in Seduce from an Ulta gift with purchase. And I, I know I got another one, but I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I went up by three. For cream or liquid highlighters, in January I had four. 
Now I have five because I got that Lancome one in the Vox box. It is what it is. I'm going to try and work through them. I do really want to get through them as quickly as possible. Okay, for powder highlighters, I had three, like single powder highlighters. I had three. Now I have four. It's because my friend Fallon sent me um, the Ofra Dupe That highlighter. Oh my god, how did I forget that word? I think it's, I can't remember if it's You Glow Girl or You Do You, but it's the pinky one. She sent that to me because she got it in an Ipsy bag and she doesn't wear highlighter, so she sent it to me. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know what you're thinking, Fallon. It's it's beautiful. You're crazy. <laughs> um, next for face palettes, I had two and I still have two. Um, basically, face palettes are just face products, not eye products, anything like that. Um, so what I have is uh, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and an e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. The Combo Face and Eye Palettes, I had four. I still have four. That includes um, Pixie Natural Contour Kit that has eyeshadows as well as cheek products, um, the Tarte um, Rainforest After Dark Palette, the Lorac Resort palette that has blushes, highlight, and shadow. And there's another one that I can't think off the top of my head, but there's those. Um, I'm going to skip eyeshadows for right now. For glitter or loose pigments, I had four. I swapped a little bit, and now I have six. I acquired this Your Minerals Sweden um, Swedish Winter pigment, and I also acquired one from Marsk called Vanilla Frosting. Um, for pencil eyeliners, I had 17. I am down to 16. I don't think that I used one up. I don't remember. I don't think that I did. Um, so it must have been from a swap that I passed that along. Um, for liquid eyeliners, I had three. I now have four because I swapped for an Ico eyeliner. For mascaras, I had 21. And now, I have 22. And I think it's because the Play by Sephora gave us a Lash Craft one, and what was it? Um, I did an, uh, an HSN deal for a Too Faced palette, and it also came with a mini of the Better Than Sex mascara. Because I'm pretty sure I used up at least one. I know I used up the Marcel mascara, so I think that's what happened. Next is brow products. I had seven in January. I now have eight, and... It's not a huge item. Um, let's see, do I have it? Yeah. So, the thing that I added to my collection was this. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It's just a little sampler of four brunette shades. Um, I just wanted to try it out before I dig into the dip brow that I have, the full size one. I just wanted to see if I would like it, and that way I can return the full size and get my money back if I don't like this formula. Um, let's see, lip treatments or primers or lip balms. At the beginning of the year I had 8 and I still have 8. For lip liners I had 13, I still have 13. I did swap the Urban Decay Ozone lip liner, but then I got the Urban Decay Naked lip liner so it all evened out. Um, oh, I'm proud of this. For lipsticks or lip crayons, any sort of like traditional lip product, I had 62 in January, which is bananas, um, but through decluttering and through swapping, I am down to 47. I've decided I really don't like traditional lipsticks that much. I prefer lip liquid lipsticks on a regular basis because I feel like I can actually get a full day's like work, a full work day's wear out of them, and I don't really like to touch up. I don't really like to worry about if there's lipstick on my teeth, around my face. Um, if I eat, sometimes it'll transfer down here. Um, I just don't really prefer lipsticks, so I'm happy about that. However, because of this revelation, my liquid lipsticks, I was at 25. I'm now at 34. What? Why? What is my problem? I know I bought five of the NYX lingerie lips from Fallon. She sold five of them to me for $10 shipped, which was great. I also got a Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid lipstick. Um, I think I got another NYX lingerie in a swap. 
I'm not sure exactly how I acquired all of these. Um, oh, I got the Too Faced Queen Bee and a kit. I know there's more. I can't think of how I acquired them, but it is what it is. For lip glosses, I had 12 in January. I am now at 14. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Let me see. I swapped for a Trust Fund Beauty lip gloss, and I got the Lancome um, Le Metallique metallic lip lacquer, and I got a L'Oreal Molto Mauve Extraordinaire lip gloss thing as well. Um, so I must have swapped one away. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this all works. For setting sprays, at the beginning of the year I had four. Now I have six because I acquired two minis, the Urban Decay All Nighter and a Kula setting spray with SPF in it. Um, but once I finish off my L'Oreal, which is a big one, I can focus on the little ones and knock a couple of those out. Now for eyeshadows, I have things divided into a couple categories, so let's get into that. Okay, so now for eyeshadow. At the beginning of the year, I had 13 single eyeshadows. I'm happy to report that I am down to 11. Um, I have had my eyeshadow palettes split up by like quantity of pans, so eyeshadow palettes that are between 2 to 4 pans. I had 5 in January. I am down to 4. For eyeshadow palettes that are between 5 to 8 pans, I went from 9 to 8. And for eyeshadow palettes that are greater than 8 pans, I went from 11 to 13. I got the Cargo Around the World palette through a swap, and I got the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette um, with a HSN deal. I got um, the palette mascara and mascara melt off for $20 shipped. So those are the two that I added into my collection. So I'm now at 13. Um, I could be doing a lot better. I really could. Um, some categories had significant decreases like the lipsticks. Some of them have gone up. Some of them had stayed the, had stayed the same. Um, so at the beginning of the year I had 300 items in my collection. I believe in the video I said $2.99, but I found another lip balm that I forgot about, so I had 300 items at the beginning of the year. My number is now at 308, so not as bad as I thought it could have been. Um, I will be knocking out a bunch of primers, and I have two foundations that are almost done, brow product that's almost done, so I can see these numbers going down pretty quickly if I put my mind to it and if I can declutter a little bit more um, because I'm, I have a hard time getting rid of things. I don't know. I just, I really do want to do a declutter again soon. I might do that in the next week just to go over things and see, you know, what realistically do I like? What don't I like? What could I see myself panning? You know, do I like it enough to actually work through the entire product, you know? Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do a declutter soon um, on top of continuing to pan items. I know one project pan just wrapped up. Um, I do still have my subscription box splits and the For the Love of Panning that's going through until the 22nd of this month. So if you guys have any project pan ideas or collabs that you'd like me to join, I would be happy to do that. I really do want to get into more project pans coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you um, like seeing my inventory or inventories in general. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so we can stay in touch. I would absolutely love to have you here and hopefully I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye guys.